So you're probably thinking, well, this information is gonna give us is gonna be a complete joke. But actually, it's not a joke. So today's video is actually about the AMD Radeon RX Vega 64. People are telling us that there's going to be 70 to 100 mega ashes per second coming out of this card. That's a really fast card. So I'm going to explain you really shortly why this information is kind of true. Because a few months ago I already posted something on Facebook like I was predicting what the AMD Vega hashing rate speed was going to be because I was comparing to the AMD Fury X it, it had the HBM memory instead of the HBM2 memory and it was doing about 27 megashes per second with a core clock speed of about 1000 megahertz and 500 on the memory but if you imagine that the HBM memory was already capable of doing 27 mega ashes per second, I was expecting that the AMD Vega would run at a core clock speed of 1500 and 925 on the memory speed. It would be able to run about 59 mega ashes per second, but if you keep in mind that if I add the 500, like the 1.5 times of the core clock speed to the hashing rate, we would come at a really nice 75 to 100 mega ashes per second. So actually, my calculation two months ago was pretty accurate already on this. But when the AMD Vega Frontier Edition came out, it did not contain the HBM2 memory. So there was a total different memory inside it than I expected. So that's why this card may be only doing 30 mega ashes per second to a max of 35 mega ashes per second. And even one of my subscribers said like, hey man, it's only having the HBC memory and not the HBM2 memory. So I was like, oh damn, my calculation of two months ago could be totally true and now people are telling in the news that this card is going to have 70 to 100 mega ashes per second and the AMD is only selling one card for everyone in the world. I think this information is going to be really true. I'm not going to say that it's going to be really true, but it looks pretty promising that it's going to do these hash rates on Ethereum mining. Hopefully this was the best information I could give you today about the new AMD Vega 64 graphics cards and 56 graphics cards. And hopefully this information is going to be true for people that are going to invest into buying a lot of motherboards and CPUs and a lot of AMD Vega cards. So if you want to be one of the first guys, I would recommend uh, looking forward for this card and happy mining boys. See you guys in the next one.